San Francisco's Muni is among the Bay Area transit agencies facing unprecedented financial challenges. KTV's Christian Captain shows us the outdated technology the SFMTA is still relying on and the potential catastrophic meltdown the agency says could come without a new funding model. Every weekday, San Francisco's Muni system picks up more than 375,000 riders. SFMTA Executive Director Jeffrey Tumlin says while that sounds like a lot, it's simply not enough. He says Muni is facing unprecedented financial challenges following the pandemic. Ridership is still less than two-thirds of what it was pre-pandemic, leaving the agency critically short on cash. That gap had been covered by the federal government, but that money is expected to run out in the next two years, leaving the agency $214 million in the hole by 2026. All of us transit agencies that serve downtown San Francisco are facing what we call a fiscal cliff, and it's because our revenue goes like this and then collapses rather suddenly when the last of our federal, federal relief funding runs out. Muni is faced with the proverbial chicken and egg question. The current funding shortage means Muni is still not operating its full service and cannot invest in critical system upgrades. But it needs to operate at full service and invest in new technology to draw passengers. Executive Director Tumlin says an example of the outdated technology the agency relies on is the train control system for Market Street Rail service. The operating system to run the trains is still loaded off of five and a quarter inch floppy disks, 1990s technology. He says it's just a matter of time until that outdated system leads to a Southwest Airlines style meltdown. And one of the things that keeps me up at night is the, 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 the increasing likelihood of complete technical failure if we don't invest in upgrading our core systems. Tumlin says the agency needs to work on finding new funding models. So in the long run, we're going to need to find a new revenue model in order to make the whole system work. Um, in the meantime, we have limited options. Meanwhile, passengers say they rely on the service. I would say it's really important uh, for so many people that can't afford Ubers or Lyfts or own a car, um, especially older folk. Uh, I think it's really important to the city. It's definitely important to me to get around the city. I'm born and raised in third generation San Francisco, so it's been important to me as it was to my parents and um, people before them. Riders say they support reasonable steps to make sure the agency is funded properly and is able to modernize. Oh my God, yes. I would like to see them get modernized. I would like to see them improve. The agency is still looking for ways to cover the projected shortfall, including asking the state for more money, and is considering everything from extending parking meter hours to going to the voters with a ballot measure to save Muni, or even floating a regional transit funding measure. In San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.